Before we get to the business meeting today, um, I'd like to address something that has been on the minds of many. The coronavirus and its impact, also COVID-19, and its impact on what we do. All of us, my fellow commissioners here and our leadership team in each of our offices, understand how unsettling the news has been lately. We know people are concerned. We are doing everything we can to implement best practices, focus on the health and safety of our staff, and strategically plan ahead as each day brings new challenges. Just last evening, Governor Newsom and the state public health officials announced new recommendations that affect large gatherings across the state. They recommend postponing or canceling events with more than 250 attendees until at least the end of March. These guidelines are another effort to help reduce the spread of coronavirus and keep our communities safe. Just this morning, our management team has reviewed the latest guidelines and is taking steps to implement those recommendations for all our upcoming public meetings at the CPUC. It is important to point out that many of the functions of the CPUC are critical to keeping the continuity of government here in California. Whether it's the important daily railroad inspections that help keep commerce flowing or the many proceedings underway that ensure the safety of our residents, we play a critical role. Even though the way in which we accomplish our work may change in the face of the coronavirus, the critical functions of the Commission will continue. We have an extremely talented and dedicated workforce that is rising to the challenge day by day. The Commission will continue to evaluate and appropriately implement various options as the situation evolves, such as remote access for meetings and expanded telecommuting for employees to ensure the continuity of critical functions and the oversight of essential utility services. We are also utilizing social media to remind the public how to comment on proceedings through means other than attending a meeting in person. Internally, the CPUC executive management team meets daily to discuss the latest guidance provided by health officials and identify any issues and concerns that need to be addressed expeditiously. We have implemented several added safety measures throughout the CPUC. Here are some of the examples of what we are doing. Increasing the frequency of cleaning of the commonly used areas, ensuring resources are available for increased hand washing and use of hand sanitizers, distributing best practices to protect against the spread of viruses, providing access to the up-to-date resources of official information, considering all viable options for telework and flexible work schedules for individuals considered at greatest risk, encouraging employees to pay attention to their health and stay home if they are ill, implementing local and state health protocols if an employee has tested positive for COVID-19, and adhering to travel warnings issued by the United States State Department. The CPUC will continue to monitor this fast-changing situation and will communicate with our staff as well as the public of the protocol changes that would impact the operations of the Commission's business. Okay, we will now turn to public comment. I will add that the Governor will be having a press conference at 1030, which might also add to some of the information that we will be imparting um, to our employees later today. 